Welcome to the track. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Yes. Oh. 19 years since I've been to a track with this thing at it. It's been that long for you? Yeah. All right. Well, my name is Bill Grabowski. I'm the builder and owner of this car. I used to race it. Uh, at this point in time, I'm retired. Uh, getting a little old for it. Body can't handle it anymore. I decided to hand it off to my sons. My son, Bill, which is running away right there right now. And of course, my son, David, here. They're going to race, uh, allowing co-drivers again. Uh, they, they, they haven't for about 10 years. And we used to have co-drivers. My old co-driver there is Joe Kentap. Hey, Joe, come on over here. Joe Kentap raced, raced with me for about, what, 25, 30 years? Well, at least 25. And we used to race together, and about 10 years ago, they quit uh, allowing co-drivers. So Joe retired and just became crew chief at that point in time. And the sons were the picture at the time. So now those two are going to take over, and I'm going to hand the torch to them, and I'm going to be the spotter for them. And part, partly pit crew, but uh, I can't handle as much as I used to, but I'm still involved. That's, that's the main thing. Anyway, thank you for your time. <coughs> Any yeah. other questions? I love it. We look forward to having a blast. I can't think of it. Like I said, I'm going to love it and hate it. I really want to be out there, but I know I can't, but I'm going to enjoy watching you guys having fun. That's the All right, guys, racing starts at 11 today. Gravity Park, Chilton, Wisconsin. Come on out and watch some IOTA racing. All right, so here I am. That's me in the car. It uh, seems kind of surreal. But uh, yeah, a couple laps after the start, we got the video going here, so we'll let you enjoy some other races. So right there I caught some huge air that felt amazing to fly that high in the air off coming out of the hellhole. But uh, coming around this corner I could see that guy in third place. Oh gosh, I forget his name, but the 603. I wanted third place so bad. I just was really pushing. I wanted to keep him in my sights. Even coming here out of the corner, I could tell I was clean. So I knew I was getting comfortable with the car and the competition caution. They were going to bring me right up to his bumper. I'm like, I knew I could beat that guy. I was faster than him. But I was so far behind. I've raced before in the uh, four cylinder division. They throw a caution. It's like catch up with the field. They're like, we don't care if you're in last. Like, we'll throw the green flag without you. And right here, I'm just like, Oh man, that guy spun out, and I'm like, I ain't waiting for you. They're already like racking the field up. They're pretty much ready to green start the race. You can see them like right there. They're coming around to start the race in 10 seconds. Let him pass, yeah.
those, uh, what do you call them? Pumps? Rubbing? Uh, yeah, I was going for the brakes and the brakes were just soft. Those tires could not lock up and I was talking with my dad about that and we fix that after the race and he said uh, it's, those brakes have never been properly able to bleed or something. So he's been out there going about 110 miles an hour with spongy brakes for the last like 40 years. <laughs> it's like, and he's like one day telling me like, oh man, I really was crazy. over the radio at the 603 is pulled off and I'm just like well, there it is that's that's a podium finish I have gotten it now it's just time to let this baby fly in the 606. Just sounds great. There it was, my very first race in uh, my dad's car, the Classics. I had one heck of a day. I got to race the ATVs, the Classics. And look here, even got my uh, photo with the lady, Miss Wisconsin. Heck, looks like I, I may not have gotten first place, but I tell you what, I was sure the winner on the day and the weekend. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, sub to the channel, hit the bell if you want to see what the heck kind of crazy stuff I'm up to. Uh, keep alert, we got the 2024 Lawnmower Enduro coming to Spooner, Wisconsin, it's looking like. So wait till the first of the year for heads up on that. Other than that, I'm trying to put my own classics together, try to bring back the old 604. Oh gosh, all sorts of fun stuff. Racing the Red Angel at the Adam Hover Memorial next summer, the Enduro, running ATVs, all that. It's going to be a blast. You won't want to miss it. Later, guys.